I'm doing a screen recording and then I'm on my website where I've organized up all the parts to my project. I have my lesson plan and all my media elements and I'm going to go through and I'm going to demonstrate all the different parts. I'm going to talk about it and this is what I did. This is why I did this lesson. This is why the technology supports this lesson. This is how I thought about applying the things that we did in class. And I'm just going to show all the different parts. Okay, and then once I'm done with that, I would stop the recording and once I've stopped the recording, I'm going to go to YouTube and at the top of YouTube it says upload. So I'm going to go ahead and click upload. And I'm going to select files from my computer and I'm going to go ahead and find that screen recording video that I just did. It is probably in, it in documents. I don't think I saved it. Let me hit cancel. So I'm going to go back to the QuickTime player. And if I close out of this, it'll ask me to save it. So I'm going to save this as screen recording. And I'm going to save it to the desktop. Oops, desktop would be great. Save. And then I can select the files here in YouTube. So make sure you save your screen recording so that you can actually, there's .mov. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Now while it's uploading, there's a few things that I want to do. I probably want to change it from screen recording to CI 101 screen recording video. This is my part one of the video project. So now what you really want to make sure that you pay attention to is the license and ownership rights. And by default it is standard YouTube license, but I actually want to change that to Creative Commons. So I change it to Creative Commons and even though it's still processing, it'll do that. If you come over to the Advanced Setting tab, I like to turn off all the comments, but that's just me personally. And I select the captions. And so, even if it's not finished uploading, I still can click and go to the YouTube link if I want to see the video. There's also the Video Manager link right here if I want to go to the Video Manager list. But what I really want to do is up here at the top where it says upload, I'm going to do another upload. Except this time, instead of uploading from my computer, I want to record from a webcam. Record from a webcam. So I click on that. And allow that. And it shows me. So now I'm talking about my project. I have a project. I did these things to work on it and this is why I feel that these were good choices for my lesson and how technology enhances my project and how technology will be used by students and by myself and this is my project. So I just record it and then I hit, oh, before I do that I have to hit start recording. Uh, start the recording, talk about my project as I would as if I had gotten up in front of the class to talk about my project. And then I would stop the recording and this automatically uploads to YouTube. Upload, click the upload button. So again, I can just retitle this CI 101 YouTube webcam video. And I also, it's very important they change it from standard license to the Creative Commons license. Otherwise, I cannot edit it. And I go to the advanced settings and I like to uncheck all the check boxes. And I set the caption. Save. Okay, so now that both of my videos are in YouTube, if I come up to the very top, under the drop down option, it says Video Manager. You also notice there's a Video Manager button right there, but this is universally located up at the very top, Video Manager. So once I'm in Video Manager, you notice I have both the screen recording video and my webcam video. So I want to make sure I have both of those, and then you see this. Um, these icons that they're public so to make sure that people can see them. And then this little picture of a person right here is Creative Commons. So it's real important that it's 
um, Creative Commons, and your final video needs to be public so that I'll be able to watch it. So, but up at the very top, next to the word Video Manager, is that it says Video Editor. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And once I'm in Video Editor, let me get rid of these videos that I already had. You'll notice that all of my Creative Commons videos are just right here for me to access. So I'm going to go ahead and drag down this screen recording. Now this is where it gets tricky because what I really need to do is to know exactly what seconds interval do I want to capture. So I'll probably need to watch this video like a bunch of times and keep like a video, video uh, a time log. So I say at 10 seconds, from 10 seconds to 13 seconds, I want that clip. And then from 17 seconds to 23 seconds, I want that clip. So Put the seconds log as you watch it. Which seconds do you actually want to trim into it? Because you'll notice that it has these gray bars on the side of the clip. And so I'm able to drag in so I can start it at 25 seconds. And then I only want it to last for 7 seconds. So I'm able to trim that in. And then I can go ahead and grab my uh, webcam video and I can slide that down here. So again, what part of my webcam video do you want? I don't want to just show the whole webcam video. I just want a few seconds at a time. So when you recorded the webcam video or even the screen recording, you can have parts where you messed up and you can just keep going because you're going to edit all that stuff out anyway. So again, I'm just able to take the gray bars on the side and I can trim them to the exact number of seconds that I want it to be. So if I click away, now if I want to go back and edit this first one, I actually have to click as I hover over it, you notice the blue bar at the top shows up. I need to make sure that I click there to make the bars show up again for the editing purposes. Uh, if you want to add some effects or text, you can click on these uh, icons right in there. And so I'm able to keep doing this. I'll just drag down my screen recording, find the few seconds that I wanted that one, drag down my webcam, Find the few seconds that I want from that one. Now, obviously, I'd be doing a much better job of this if I was doing it for real. And then I like to come over here to transitions. It looks like a bow tie. Come over here to the transitions, and then I will drag this transitions in between each of my video clips, just to make it look a little bit more smooth. If you wanted to add music, which this might not be a very good video for that, but there is a music icon with music that YouTube has the rights to. So you're able to go down here and find music options and you can drag it down to the bottom. So you have to bring it all the way down to the very, very bottom and I can set what the music is for the video. Now notice over here, if I do that, it gives me the option for only music, louder music than voice, equal voice and music, or favor the original audio over the music. So if you want, if you do want to add music, which probably you don't, but if you do, make sure that you have it slid all the way over here, the bar all the way to the left, that it's favoring the original audio, that your voice is what is predominant instead of the music. Other things that you can add is captions. So if you go here to the A, you can actually add different types of text. If you'd like to add some text, you just drag it on top of the clip. So I can put this text right here, use technology, and I can set what color it would be, there we go. So I'm able to put text on my video and all of these kinds of things. So once I'm done, where I've got my screen recording put together with my webcam, I need to make sure I come up to the top and I rename this. So this is my... CI 101 video project, and then I would click publish. Okay, and it's being processed, but I can still take the URL up at the top. I can copy that, and then when I go to my website, 14, edit. When I'm in my website and I want to put the video in there, I just go to insert, excuse me, insert video YouTube. Insert video YouTube and I just paste that URL. You can leave the boxes if you want to and I hit save and it'll go ahead and embed it in there. So what you'll notice though is it's a gray box but as soon as I hit save 
then here is that video montage that I just made. It's not available because it has to finish processing, but even though it hasn't finished processing, I was still able to put it on my website. The actual website you want to put it on though is here under make the page and then you, each team should have a page where you would insert the video onto that page and then each person in the team's link to the project.